You know, I've met so many people who say they don't like baking for all sorts of reasons. I think this is like beginner baker's gold. It's that gateway baker's recipe. Today, we are going to make Wonder Bread. Super easy, super fast, only a few ingredients, and it's delicious. And it happens to be gluten-free. That's crazy. Rick always wants his YouTube thumbnail. What? Wonder Bread. There's a lot of white rice type bread dough recipes out there from Taiwan, China, India. This one, the reason why I like it is you can make it with pretty much any off the shelf rice and it comes together super fast in a blender. Our brilliant chef, Matthew, has kind of gone off the deep end. He developed the same recipe from every grain you can think of. You gotta get it at chefsups.com. All right, you don't need much stuff. Rice, same rice, already scooped. Da, 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 da. Rice in a bowl. You gotta soak the rice. For how long? Well, it depends. Depends how much of a hurry you're in. So, you can go right into making the bread right here, right into the blender, but if you soak the rice, even 20, 30 minutes we've found goes a long way. When you have dried rice, it's like basically this hardened shell of starch, right? But as you soak it, that starch starts to soften up. And that means when you blend it, it's gonna be finer. And when it's finer, that means it's going to be fluffier. So I'm gonna put this one aside. I'll make a loaf later. This guy, ba -ba -da -ba -da, it's been soaking 30 minutes or so. It just gets like a little bit puffier, chalkier, looks like a little cloudier than fresh rice. So we're not trying to wash all the starch off. We're just soaking it. Drain. Everything goes in the blender. Here's what we got. A little more water. Oil. You can use any oil you want. It'll just change the flavor. You can go neutral, you can go olive oil, sesame oil, whatever you want. Salt, you need salt for a little flavor. Sugar, a little flavor, also speeds up the yeast. And yeast makes the bread rise. That's it. I don't think I need anything else. Rice goes in the blender. Da -da 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 -da. Vasa. Sugar. If you notice, these are all the same ingredients you always put in bread. Salt, too little salt. Bread doesn't taste like anything too much. It kills the yeast. Salt's one you want to like keep an eye on. Here's why I add like double, triple the amount of yeast often to a lot of breads. One, it rises way faster. Two, I love the yeasty flavor of it. You know, like really nice, savory, umami, yeasty flavor. Oil, easy. That's it. Oil, again, you could do no oil. The bread will be a little bit uh, chewier, a little denser, a little less spring, but you can do too much oil in the bread, kind of like wants to rise and split and sink again and get dense. So there's a perfect little middle ground. We'll cover that on chefs.com. That's it. That's everything. I'm going like extra slow. This is like a fast bread. Everything goes in, pour it, bake it, easy. But I'm gonna stop and talk for a little bit. You want a high power blender, the Vitamix, the Waring, the Breville, we like the Breville one. You know, you don't want those like oysterizers that you got at your grocery store for $29, probably won't do the trick. If I blend it a little bit, I'll have crunchies and there won't be enough fine enough flour, basically a rice flour to actually get a nice sponge. If I blend too long and it gets too hot, I can kill the yeast altogether. Further, I can like gel and actually hydrate the starch and it'll be like a gum, like a gum paste. So I recommend going like full blast until you get a thermometer and you go to 105 or so and stop. Because these, any of these high power blenders that are going to make a nice smooth paste are also going to heat up, right? And the yeast is going to die if it gets to 120, 125, 130. Here's the other thing sugar, starch, all this good stuff, the yeast is gonna start eating it right off the bat. And if it's 105, it's its most active temperature. So we're gonna pour the batter in 
and it's going to immediately, like you're going to see it in the first few minutes, it's going to start rising and rising and rising. It's proofing really fast and then poof, right in the oven. It's part of why this bread is done in an instant and so quick. Part of the, we're making the flour, the dough, we're proofing it and kind of priming the yeast all in the blender all in one step. So it's kind of magic that way. Thunk. Am I even plugged in? Maybe. Let's find out. Burp, 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 burp. we're making a video, I'll pause and I'll temp it and see where we're at. Do, 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 do. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. what do you know? 105, good thing we stopped. You could do little loaf, big loaf, muffins. I like the little loaf, bakes nice and fast. Right now, this is fermenting and you can taste it like, mm, it's starting to taste like a little tingly. This recipe that I've got is dialed in for two of these pans. Just split the load. Bum, 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 da, 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 bum. <laughs> See how it goes all jiggly? And then it goes to, yeah, it's called liquefaction, that like settling, settling in from solid to liquid. All right. I'm gonna start here, a little bit of water here. That moisture on top is gonna have a nice little film so it doesn't desiccate. Case harden is the technical baking word and it starts to really crack and break and splits out and your bread loaf goes and shoots out like that. Matthew just blended these, what, 20 minutes ago? 30? They're even like souffleing up the side here a little bit. So we're gonna bake these, see what happens. I think they could possibly like go over, but we'll also bake these ones when they just get to the top. Pretty. Jiggly. Amazing, huh? Rice yeast, a couple ingredients. Da, 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 da. Ooh, it makes me nervous. Should we put it on a tray so it doesn't bake all of our elements, or you're like, nah? I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more spray. What I got going on here is 365, 30 minutes, but I wanna keep on the moisture, so check this out. I love this little tray here, this drip tray, and you go, a little water here. Boink, done. Knew it. Uh -oh. So let's look at it though. Who cares? Let's take an opportunity to screw something up and learn from it. This is overproof. We goof up, we make messes, we screw up too. Happens all the time. These are still gonna taste amazing. I just don't want the oven to be all screwed up with little rice bread lumps all over the elements, you know? Three, two, one, beep. Wonder bread. It's ready, guys. Check it out. Wow we, wow we, wow we, wow we. I actually didn't tempt these, but shouldn't take them out of the oven yet either. But I'm gonna do it just in case. Just in case. See where we're at. Uh, I hope you're. Oh yeah, that's good. How pretty are they? Oh my god. Ooh, maybe I don't even need a paring knife to get this out. Our wonderful blender bread is done. It's done baking. If I leave it in the pan, it'll be more gummy, wet, sticky. And the whole bread, the loaf overall, can start to dry out a little bit more that way. Sometimes you want that for like a banana bread or something, so it's stickier on the outside, you know? Check it out. I would never do this if I was gonna slice it, but it's just like I have to with this bread. That is a nice loaf of bread. We've got so much good stuff about yeast, the science of yeast, other breads, all sorts of gluten-free recipes too, if that's your thing. Hamburger buns, brioche, croissants, all sorts of stuff. So go to Chef's Steps, get it all. Mm. Mm -hmm.